so many powerful women to like telling this extraordinary tale. Like what is Honestly, it's it's been so exciting to be a part of something like this because I was telling someone like I feel like it's 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 so much more than just like another TV show. Like I feel like we're actually representing so many, especially my character. I feel like we're representing so many women out there, and just the fact that that we've got so many strong women on this show, and they're all very capable and they're all very strong. Like honestly, it's been nothing short of a blessing to be a part of something like this. It's awesome. And we were looking. Yeah, it was great. No, I'm so, I'm so, so excited. Like, there's actually, I mean, I do already have, like, a favorite episode by a certain writer that's, like, amazing, and I don't want to shout her out, but she's really awesome. Sophie had a secret relationship with Kate when they were in military school, and they haven't seen each other since, because they broke up then, but Sophie is actually the reason why Kate came and comes back to Gotham, because I've been kidnapped. And that's where we pick up in the first episode. How was the breakup? I mean, did you guys part as enemies, or...? Definitely didn't part as enemies, okay. but it definitely was a very complicated situation because Kate and Sophie found themselves in a situation that the military school just did not allow. They didn't want to see two women having a relationship, and so they put us in a position where it was just like, okay, well, you have to choose. It's either us or you're choosing each other, and you can't do both, unfortunately, in that time. And so, yeah, one of us chose one way, the other one went the other. Yeah. Can you take us through what can viewers expect um, of your relationship between you and Katie on the show? Yes, so viewers can definitely expect, especially for Sophie, that she's going to be re-exploring this entire thing because, like I said, they are now split up because they split up in the military school and now that Kate is back, Sophie's seeing her and it's just like, so you're going to see the ups and downs. It's definitely going to be uh, not very easy and uh, definitely a complicated relationship, but uh, yeah, you'll see. This could be quite an awkward one. But oh gosh, what is it? <laughs> There's a lot of people saying that this show is just pushing an agenda. What would you say to those people? I definitely do not think that this is pushing an agenda. I feel like, you know, if it's pushing any kind of an agenda at all, it's pushing empathy, it's pushing understanding. Um, and, and to me, that's, that's like, to me, that's not an agenda. Like, I feel like that's what this world should have anyway. And the fact that we get to do that and I get to be a part of that message is honestly really, really awesome. But I mean, this whole thing about an agenda, like I, I hope one day people can see something like this and it just be completely normal. Like it doesn't have to be like, oh my God, that one's a lesbian. It's like, it's just like, oh, that one's like, great. You know what I mean? Like I want it to just be seen as just like the everyday thing because we're not sitting there saying like, oh, Batman's straight. Yeah. yeah, we're not saying that, but that one's a lesbian is like a big thing and it's an agenda. It's like, no, I don't agree with that. Were you familiar with the oh, Sorry. Oh no. Oh, you guys are starting to just yeah, that was good. Are you familiar <laughs> with the comics or did you dive into the research? Um, I did dive into it for research. I didn't have it previously in my brain before this, no. I am a huge Batman fan, but as far as like getting into the comics and stuff, yeah, this is my first time. Yeah. So how much of her backstory were you able to like dive into? For Sophie? Yes. Um, I didn't have too, too much to go into because the thing with Sophie, same thing in the comics, they split up in military school and then that ended up just kind of being it. And then after that, Kate Kane went and found love with, um, I believe, two other women. And so the cool thing with the CW's depiction of this Batwoman story is they're actually making more of Sophie Moore, and, which is kind of cool because I actually get to kind of be the first to really ever do it because in the comics, it just kind of stopped after military school, but on the CW, they're actually creating a whole life for Sophie and Kate. And what can you tell us about Sophie and Alice? Oh, goodness. <laughs> Sophie and Alice, yeah, well, they definitely were issue. Yeah, they definitely do not like each other, um, especially since Alice is, you know, like the leader of the Wonderland gang, and she is who has kidnapped me. Um, so yeah, they don't like each other. And what's kind of interesting though is um, at the time of my capturing, like Sophie does not really understand why it's happened. That kind of gets revealed later as we discover who she is and what her purpose is. But yeah, they don't like each other. Yeah. And so what has it been like for you like filming on a Egyptian show, especially like with the physical combat scenes and military school and like the action? Um, that is my absolute favorite. Like, it, I, I love doing the stunts. Like, you guys, like, it, I'm literally living my dream. I love to storytell and all that stuff. But aside from the acting, to be able to, like, get up there and kick some butt, like, honestly, it's so much fun. And we have the best um, stunt training team. So I literally have learned how to, like, drop kick somebody. And it's, like, it's honestly, it just adds, like, icing on the cake for me. It's fun. Thank you. Is it, 
Oh, this was so much fun. Thank you so much, guys.